So this week we're going to do a salad and we'll start off with one that is very, very easy. And you've probably by now heard of the wonder food known as quinoa. This is, as a grain, the only complete source of protein in a grain. Most of the times you have to pair up like a bean and a rice in order to complete that amino chain, but you don't have to here. So I've got some hothouse cucumber, some fresh diced tomatoes, a little salt, a little pepper, and this is how easy a stuffed pepper salad goes, just like this. Mmm, spoon by spoon. You do want to make sure you pack it down because if it's too loose when you go to cut into it, they tend to fall apart. More of the quinoa, more of that refreshing, delicious cucumber. And I could keep going, but if there's a man in the house, he's probably looking at it going, where's the meat? And so that is why we've come up with, don't knock this by the way until you try it, we've come up with this here. I call it the Napoleon, the three meat Napoleon, but we're still staying with salad type of meat. So we've got tuna. This is just a simple traditional tuna with just a little bit of light mayo added to it. This is the chunky chicken. Same thing comes out of a can. The difference is I added a little bit of curry along with some of the spicier stuff, Middle Eastern type of ingredients to uh, give it a little bit more of a kick. And then I started thinking about canned salmon. And then I said, why canned salmon if the grocery store sells this smoked salmon? Mush it about, that looks perfect. So what do we add now? Well, a little bit of sour cream. We don't want this dripping with sauce. I, I do want the meat to stay somewhat firm. So that's about as much as we're going to go. Now, if I was just to stack the three of those together, it would be awesome. But instead we're going to use this here. And this is just pureed gabonzo beans, otherwise known as hummus. And we're gonna take some of this and I'm gonna put that first into the bottom of the pepper. Now, if you really wanted to get fancy, you could actually do this in a piping bag and pipe layer after layer, but we're not gonna go that crazy. So here is our chicken mix with a little bit of that curry, as well as the, um, the uh, chili powder that goes along in there. Oh, that looks good. That's leaving me plenty of room for the salmon. And I'll put the salmon in next. And the reason I'm gonna do that is it's got a little color difference, which will help us to define the Napoleon so our salmon along with our sour cream, and you can go low fat on that sour cream if you wanna try it that way. And just a little bit more to fill up that last little void right there. And last but not least, some of the traditional tuna. And that will go on top of that. So we've got fish, we've got chicken, we've got garbanzo beans, and voila. Put that in a couple of ramekins to make it easy to eat. And right there, you've got yourself a waistline-friendly salad in its own vessel that is edible to make it a little easier to eat. Blanch the peppers. And I think that when you do, and you bring this out to the table, especially this one here, with all the meat, and you serve it and you say, no, it's a three-meat Napoleon salad. That sounds like a man salad. And that right there, well, there is none better.